We have made our way to Sicily and we are in the beautiful beach town of Cefalu. You yeah, know, this is a day trip for us from Palmero. That's where we've been staying. It's an easy train ride, about, I'd say, an hour. Now, get the early train. We took the 11 o'clock train on a Thursday, and it was absolutely packed, crowded. Get the early one, mm -hmm. and you should be fine. Now, we're taking the 6 o'clock one home. Yeah, around so, 5 o'clock, so we'll see if yeah. that's, uh, I'm afraid that one's going to be just as busy. Probably. Uh, one thing we're going to share through throughout this video with you is how much everything costs, and it's about $14 each round trip yes. to get here and back, so a very affordable day trip. We have been traveling through Italy for the last month and a half, and uh, we've only spent a very small amount of time on the water. And so it's really <laughs> nice to be, it's beautiful. Yeah, it'd be even better if this wasn't just a simple day trip and we could actually get in the water because these beaches are crowded. So if we were on the water, I'd be in the water. He would definitely be in yeah, the water. I wouldn't be on the beach. There's not enough room. I'd be in the water. <laughs> Probably with a beer in his hand. Probably one, with a beer in his yeah, hand. Yeah, one fun thing we are seeing is there are a lot of little restaurants and everything uh, that are on the promenade as you're walking around by the beach. Uh, so I'm sure we will be stopping. But there are a lot of little places to see here. Cefalu is, or Cefalu is a very small town. So it is not like there's a ton to do here. But we are going to show you kind of all the things you can do if you do make your way. One of the things that you can go do while you're here is get an amazing view over the town, but also the water. Yeah. We are not doing that no. because like we said, we came middle of the day. It's about 95 today, so a hike is not in the element for it, but you can hike to you right behind go. us. You, right you, up should go, you should go up there <laughs> yeah. and do this hike. From what we hear, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. Let us know how that goes for you and don't do it in the summertime. Right now, it's actually September, so yeah. you think it'd be a lot cooler than it is. Just but it's it's not it's still hot so uh, we're gonna skip the hike we're gonna skip the hike and uh, stay near the water And like a lot of the places we've been so far in Italy, it's been so hot that it's been a struggle, honestly. But with these streets, these back alleys, these tall buildings, it's about 15 degrees cooler for me right now, just being in the shade. So there is relief, thank God, because it is hot.
one thing that I am noticing about the beaches here is first off they're expansive another thing is is that they have sand instead of what you typically find here in Italy which is the little pebbles yeah all over the Mediterranean really yeah. now I like the pebbles myself they may not be as comfortable to lay on, but I don't like laying on the beach anyway. <laughs> you don't take the sand home with you right. when they're pebbles. Yeah, so you know, it's uh, a it lot is, cleaner. It is very true. We put we like the little pebbles. Um, but if you do like to lay on the beach, this might be a really great location to honestly stay. There's a lot of space to lay. So there's also there's the free area. So bring your your towel, lay it yeah. down. But there's also the area if you want to go ahead and rent a chair and an umbrella for the day. Um, there's plenty of that as well. Yeah, and if you have a super yacht. You can yacht it right out here and just yeah. look at everything. Yeah. It's pretty, if you're into yachts now, <laughs> me personally. Yeah, who's into yachts? When you get out of the bigger cities and make it to these smaller towns, something I know I really enjoy doing is just wandering around all the small streets. You don't really yeah. get that in Palermo at all, so we're really enjoying that. No, we prefer the small little towns uh, over the big cities any day. That's something else you get a lot of here. You get a lot of window shopping, a lot of souvenir shops that you do find in a lot of other areas, but it seems to me like there's a lot of handcrafted stuff here mm -hmm. uh, to pick from. and. Yeah. I might pick myself something. We'll see. Might be a beverage, but it's going to be something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> In our carry-on, we don't really get to do a whole lot of souvenirs. <laughs> Okay, so it did get to be too thirsty. Finally. Finally. Yeah. Finally. So we did stop. It's well over 75 degrees. It's pushing 95. So yeah. too thirsty came a little bit sooner than maybe it normally would have. But what we got, we, we ordered uh, a beer and we got a wine. We did, but it was so it great was really because good. as soon as we sipped on it, it was like, oh, what did we get? It was so good. So yeah. we were happy we got that. Yeah, she gave it to us by accident, but it was a blessing in disguise. <laughs> and then uh, we were so thirsty for a beer, so we got beer mm -hmm. to go along with it. We also got olives, we got chips, we yeah. got nuts. Twice. Because Twice. we ordered a beer and wine, so yes, she well, we actually ordered two beers. But anyway, we got chips and wine and all of the All for 20 US dollars. Now, to me, that's a steal. 20 euro. Yeah, 20 Excuse euro. Excuse me, 20 euro. <laughs> so, yeah, still still a great deal here in a tourist town. And, yes. uh, yeah, so honestly, if you just kind of get off the beaten path a little bit, you're going to pay a little bit less. We were seeing it was 6 euro for a small little baby beer. Yep. Uh, that's a little steep for us. So 5 euro for a big beer, we're not, we're okay paying. And we got there in time. Just remember, here in Europe, here in Italy, where we're at right now, of course, uh, they do close down midday. Mm -hmm. So some yeah. places are closed right now, including some of the tourist attractions right. that we want to go see. Yeah, so the cathedral does close down in the middle of the day, yes. uh, as well as 
the place that we want to see is the wash house. I want to see how people used to have to wash their clothes. I like watching Kay wash clothes. <laughs> right now I just push buttons. She now. I, I, right now I just push buttons. Good, but this place legit. is by hand. So we do want to see that, but that closes in the middle of the day too. So we're hoping to go and finish that when it opens. Anyways, uh, I had found that online. It was supposed to be a very traditional place, a little bit off of the beaten path, but it's really not far out of town. Very affordable prices. It was 25 euro for both of us to have our meal uh, with a large beer. So, with a large beer. Yeah, very affordable. I'd also like to point out that there was a line when we got there. Mm -hmm. It's a short line, but there's still a line. And our rule is if there's a line, it's, get in yeah. it because it's probably going to be good right and it was and they all they close it four o'clock so that's part of it as well so that was great we hurried through it a little bit because it always takes a little bit of time to get your food what do we have uh, we had we had them both so anyways we had a, a pasta dish all their pasta is homemade so yes. very very good we are heading to the cathedral because it was supposed to open at 3 30 and we're going to see if we can show that to you before we we're have gonna, to get we're on the train try not to miss the train so we can bring you to the cathedral Okay, so we're looking for the cathedral. We're a little bit lost right now, and that's not okay because we have a train to catch. <laughs> but if you have accessibility issues, this city is completely walkable. There are there are tour guides that will take you through mm -hmm. the city as well if, if that's something you're interested in. It costs about 12 euro. They take you around in golf carts. It's very simple, very convenient. So yeah. if Otherwise, I would say that it's a very walkable city. So yes. unless you have any like real mobility issues, very, very walkable, easy to get around. And especially if you're coming in on the train, Right. it was maybe a five minute walk to get down to the city center. At the center. most, and yeah. everything you need to see was within five minutes as well. Yeah. So unless you have real problems, then there is an option for you. Yeah. So a little racing to find our way here, um, but we found it. Unfortunately, um, there is admission to get in. You can actually just go into the main cathedral at no fee, yes. but you need to be covered. Brian went in, but um, right now everything is so, kind of covered up. So I went in. Carrie, she got kicked out because she, she's not her, shoulder, her shoulders are not covered. I went in, and all the cool stuff is covered with scaffolding mm -hmm. and sheets. So yeah. here in the middle of September, there's really nothing to see anyway. Yeah. So you can pay to see the garden mm -hmm. and a couple other things, but we're pressed for time right now. We are, yeah. Which and brings me to my next point. Leave yourself plenty of time get here as early as possible yeah. because this there's a lot to see there is more than we were anticipating when we came here yes. so i don't think we're going to find the wash house which the laundry I'm, mat <laughs> he likes to call it a laundry mat because he feels like that's self-service as well so when you go to an actual wash place like we wanted to show you it is stone and uh you are down there scrubbing well, 
the yes. garments on stone. 1,500 years ago, they called it a laundry mat. They, no, because there was no women there like doing your laundry for you. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna put it out there. I was not scrubbing it on the stones for you. So he he believes he has a magic like laundry basket where he puts the stuff in it's and weird. the next day it's, it's just done and ready to go. <laughs> I so, can't explain it myself. All right, well, we have yes. loved our time here. It is a beautiful place, highly recommend it. Now our cost to be here, we paid about $28 to take the train from Palermo. Right, we paid $20 round trip. Mm -hmm. Uh, we paid about $20 for two drinks mm -hmm. and the olives and the chips and everything $2 we got. Two drinks each, yeah. Two drinks mm -hmm. each, right. Um, and then we had dinner. Yes. And the dinner was about $20 And total. the wind is kicking up. The wind is kicking up. <laughs> and uh, so I'd say the whole, the whole day cost us roughly $60. It really, honestly, it was not bad. And... Uh, yeah, I would just say if you are in this area in Palermo or honestly, if you want a place to stay and you're going to day trip to Palermo, stay in Sefalu. I would do that. Chefalu, yeah. I would do that. Yeah. I would we stay would, here. We would highly there. recommend that actually. All I'm right. Closing this one out. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. All right. So. Actually really good. Really, really so good. we're gonna keep it.